What's up, y'all? Yeah, I'm trying to get to the train station so I don't miss my train. So I'm breathing a little hard this morning. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. I'll ask y'all something. Do y'all play, wherever y'all at, do y'all play 21 or do you play 52 rough? We talk about basketball. Anybody that played in the parks growing up, where I'm from in the Northeast, we played 21 and 52 rough. Pretty, they're pretty similar. Pretty similar, but where I'm from, the, the 21 is more organized basketball. Like three on threes and things like that. Now, 52 rough, you just pretty much the person shoots, you get a rebound, and you shoot the ball right back. You don't take the ball back. You don't do nothing like that. There's really no fouls called. So, I want to know if you guys played 21 or 52 rough, or you called it 33. I know different parts of the country call it different things. But it's different now, yeah. When I walk around my community, most kids aren't even playing in the in the park anymore. And I understand it's a different generation with the video games and all that. But kids don't know they don't go outside. How you don't go outside and want a ball? Wanna play basketball? I'm just saying. I understand it's a different time and you got technology, but I just wanna know if these guys play uh 21 or 52 rough, or you call it something different. I'm pretty sure in Texas they call it something different. In Montana they probably call it different. In Mississippi they probably call it something different. Also, y'all, all this talk about Russell Wilson being traded, it's not gonna happen, y'all. So Cowboy fans, he not coming to, he not coming to Dallas. It's not happening. Now we all know Russell, you know, he picked four teams. He says, if they're thinking about trading them, Dallas is one of those teams. I'm only gonna focus on the Cowboys because I'm a Cowboy fan. But this is all about Russell wanting better offense alignment. Russell wanting a little bit more say-so over the offense and over the direction of the team. Now, you guys to say, well, Russell is just a player. I keep telling people in 2021, it's a little different. Franchise quarterbacks have a little bit of power. If a team gives you like $80 million up front, you have a little bit of power. Straight up. But Russell's not going anywhere. That's pretty much, I mean, wasted airspace on ESPN and first take and undisputed and speak out. And plus, I mean, come on. I'm sure teams are asking about Russell sure they're asking about Russell but come on nobody it's gonna take four four number one draft picks and maybe a player for a conversation probably even to get serious about trading Russell Wilson from Seattle Seattle's in the playoffs every year now will Russell get some kind of control and power as far as personnel decisions and other things of that nature he might get a little bit but Russell don't really want to leave Seattle. He don't want to leave Seattle for what? Chicago? That's one of the teams. The Raiders, maybe. Cowboys, probably. But now he's not going nowhere. Plus, he hasn't demanded a trade. He just wants a little bit of say-so. Now, Deshaun Watson, he met up with the coach. They had a conversation. He's like, I still want to be out. I don't want to play for the Texans, point blank. The organization is... Not good, not functional. So he wants out. And I can't blame him for that. It's his, it's his career. He don't want to play for you no more. So go ahead and trade him for three number ones and a player. Texas is like, we're not trading him. Okay, cool. Also, if the Cowboys, if they franchise Dak Prescott a second time, that's it. In 2022, he'll be somewhere else. So they have up until March 9th to get it done, but if they franchise Dak again, they're gonna trade him. Put it like this. 
there's no even there's not even a guarantee that he'll play in 2021 in Dallas. They still could trade him, trade his rights. And you probably can get two number ones for Dak Prescott. No, he doesn't deserve Patrick Mahomes' money. But he's probably a top 10 quarterback. He wants a three-year deal. Jerry wants to give him four years deal, which is silly. Give him his three years and keep it pushing. Straight up. As you guys know, it's, it's Mel Kiper Jr.'s time of the year. So he, pro he projects the first round picks, which is pretty good. He's, he's spot on with that pretty much. But now he's predicting trades. I would stay away from that because he don't know if the teams are going to be making these trades. He don't know. Like I said, as far as him picking first round picks, I'll go with that. But he got the Jets taking Pitts, the tight end, slash wide receiver from Florida, out of Philadelphia, out of this Northeast. Real good player. But I don't know if the Jets are going to go tight end at number two. I, I don't know. That might be a little bit far-fetched. A tight end with the number two pick in the draft? I don't know about that. It could happen, but if I'm Mel, I'm staying away from all these trades. And plus, his mock drafts are going to change by the time April come around anyway. So I don't put much stock in that. But he does got the Cowboys taking a cornerback, a defensive back from Alabama, Patrick Sertain. So I like that. Also, yeah, this is a soccer player. They on AC Milan. I'm not even going to say his name. I'll show his picture up here on the split screen. Tell LeBron James he should just focus on basketball. Like lead the politics to people that know what they're doing. The people that do politics don't even know what they're doing. And that's crazy. That's like telling me stick to welfare because I only work only because I work at welfare. I don't have an opinion. I can't see or make a opinion on something other than welfare. It's silly. You mean to tell me you can't observe something and see what's going on and formulate an opinion? And in most cases, it's a fact. What's going on in the country is crazy right now, straight up. Plus, that's old school. It's not 1955. These players got power. They're not dumb. They can give their opinion. Just like the soccer player, you can give your opinion. But really, like, tell Le LeBron, stick to basketball? Kind of ridiculous in 2021. We all give opinions. We all talk about different subject matter. In 2021, athletes, case workers, plumbers, soccer players, electricians, we all give opinions on different topics. We'll talk to these guys later. It's Corner Sportsnet.